Hello everybody, come with me, let's go check out what we got here. We've got a row of 1960 Ford Starliners. These things are going to need a lot of work. Um, some of them are just going to be for parts. Some of them maybe we'll be able to get run and we'll see. As I said, it's a lot of work. Uh, this one right here is the purple one. Um, it seems pretty solid. This is probably, out of all these that we're looking at here today, the most likely one to be fixed up and gotten on the road. It's a pretty solid unit here. It does not have an engine. That's going to, of course, <laughs> require some work there, but it's got a really cool transmission in it. Um, it's a heavy duty manual transmission. Uh, as you see, we got to mount the hood onto it and do a ton of other things. I mean, it's going to need some work. Okay, we got a blue one here. This one's got a spotlight, which was really cool, uh, but we went to jack it up and get something out from underneath it and it just started crumbling the frame so that's very disappointing and as you see inside here the floor is like pretty much non-existent in places but it's got some cool interior parts a lot of good body panels um yeah i don't know if this one will be fixable or not Obviously it could be, it would just take a lot of work because of how soft the underneath is. This one does have an engine, it's a Ford FE engine. Um, haven't really looked to see any codes to see anything more about the engine, what size it is or anything like that. This one here, a little bit reddish color. Don't know if it's reddish from rust or multiple paint jobs, multiple different panels, who knows. Um, pretty crummy a lot of holes in it um, trunk there you can just see right through it there's a big just hole where the trunk used to be and yeah as we see inside here the floor you could see straight through to the ground ceiling is just dangling I mean, love drive that with the dangles coming at you that'd be an experience this one does have an engine. It's a straight six. So that's a little bit unique. It's the only one of these that's got a six cylinder. The rest either have no engine or they're eight cylinders. Here's the green one. This guy is probably next to that first one, the next most likely one to possibly be eligible for restoration looks pretty crummy from the outside but yeah if you can take some of the body panels off of some of the others clear up some of that rustiness i mean it's really the bones of it that are important and as we see we're not really seeing the daylight or the ground through the floor there lots of dangles so yeah this would take a ton of work and of course the floor is rusty need to fix it up weld in some patch panels so you don't fall through the floor. Some damage there. Looks like it got side swipe, T-bone, who knows what. It's got a nice Ford FE engine. Beyond that, don't know any details about the engine. But it looks looks like it's um, got some potential. It is free. It spins. We just removed what we had covering the intake just to get visibility for the video here all right this one it's orange got some moss growing on it missing some windows yep trunk's not on it got to attach that don't really know the condition about the underneath it's kind of hard to get under them where they're at because it's low to the ground a lot of these have flat tires gotta get them propped up keep the moisture out of them I don't believe this one has an engine yep 
So we'll see. Depends how crusty this one really is. There we go, it's the swamp monster. Check out that moss just growing all up the hood, all over the windshield. Looks really cool, but yeah, then when you get to the side, you start seeing, yeah, it's very rough shape. Side window, let's take a peek in there. Just got some spare parts hiding in there. Yeah, we're not gonna try opening that thing for now. There it is, there's the cool view right there. Getting all that moss. This thing's pretty old. I guess they're all old, they're all the same age. They're all 1960s, 1960 Ford Starliners. Look at those sideways wings there. Okay, the party car. No, you don't go partying in it. It's only part way there. There we go, missing the front. So yeah, this one definitely probably not gonna be restored, but there might be some good parts there. Okay, that's it for today. Subscribe if you want to see how the progress goes on these things. Thanks guys.